Hello YouTube, this is Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing well. I really do. Hope you are doing well. It's time again for another knife of the day. And we continue through my uh, Chris Reeve collection. And today the knife of the day, believe it or not, is one of my favorite Chris Reeve knives. It is a large Chris Reeve Sabenza 21 with the plain Jane body, but with something special. <laughs> and that's the Devin Thomas Ladder Damascus Blade. Now, as I go through my Chris Reeve collection, I'm also going through the Browse Blades and the Microtech, Ultratech, um, I mean the Microtech out the front automatic collection at the same time. Chris Reeve is the second largest of my collection, I think I have 58 Chris Reeve knives. All of them are different variations and different types. This variation is a simple variation that I really like. Believe it or not, I, I collect a lot of knives, a lot of variations, but I love the plain Janes. My heart is with these plain Jane knives. I collect uh, watches, but I really love the tag watch, <laughs> you know, the tag chronograph watch. It's well-made and simple. And a good Chris Reeves Sabenza 21, large, small, Sabenza 25, or the Encosis, the, the plain Jane with the plain titanium body and a blade just feels great. It's the classic. Well, this is a classic with a Devin Thomas cherry on the top and that's the ladder damascus with devin thomas they actually have these if you can find them uh they have ladder damascus raindrop damascus and basket weave damascus and usually when i grab a knife that i like with chris reeve i try to get the whole pair in this case i didn't i do have a small 21 with a damascus blade as well plain jane body with a damascus blade and you'll see that as we continue through the collection. But I really like this. I do. Um, it it kind of matches what I like. You know, simple, hard-working knife with a little gentleman's folder flair. So, of course, everything about this is Chris Reeve perfection. <laughs> um, the tolerances are perfect. Uh, it's built sturdy. And of course, Devin Thomas does a lot of Damascus blades for a lot of people, but Chris Reeve loves Devin Thomas. This blade is 3.6 inches in length, hollow ground, drop point blade. Just really nice. The total knife is 8.3 inches in length, and it's 4.7 ounces. So it is so well balanced. Uh, when you get a large Sabenza 21 or a Sabenza 25 or a large Inkosi, although they're big, I mean, we're talking about a 3.6 inch blade, 8.3 inches total. It's very, it's so well balanced. It doesn't feel that bad in the hand at all. The body all titanium has blue accents um, on the stud and of course the lanyard. One thing I like about a Chris Reeve knife is when it comes to you, it has the birth card, it has some oil, it has a tool for tightening the lugs, um, and it has uh, a cloth for you. Uh, I love that. So everyone talks about how expensive Chris Reeve knives are, and they are. I have to admit, though, when I started collecting Sabenza, you know, Chris Reeve knives, Spydacos, you know, the regular kind of knives, I've been collecting for three years. Now, there are so many knives out. <laughs> I go to Blade HQ, I'm totally confused. <laughs> But a Chris Reeve knife is one of the standards, and this is a nice one. 
Obviously, it's see-through construction. It has the Chris Reeve integral frame lock right there. Usually close to 50%, and they don't. It doesn't move from there. That's when I talk about tolerances. It's steady, it's dependable, and this is a beautiful one. Uh, every time I pick this one up, or the small 21 that's like this, I... I <laughs> I, I, it's unbelievable. I have super fancy Chris Reeve knives, but this one just makes, just special. This is a right handy because I'm right handed. Of course, Chris Reeve does not have the clips that go up, down, left, right. You have to go and find a left handed knife from Chris Reeve if you're a lefty. The knife of the day is the plain Jane with the cherry on top. <laughs> yeah. This is the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21 with the Devin Thomas Ladder Damascus on the top. Let's team it up with a small Sabenza 21 and a Sabenza 25 so you can get a feel for the original trilogy, really. There you have it. That's the knife of the day, the Chris Reeve Large Sabenza 21 with Ladder Damascus. If you're enjoying these daily knives of the day, don't forget to show your love with a thumbs up. That goes directly to me. I read every comment every day. I know sometimes it takes me long to uh, uh, respond to all of you guys. I will respond to all of you, though. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. That really helps me out. Uh, when you subscribe, hit that bell that's on the side. Once you hit subscribe, that'll turn on your notifications. I'm recording this on Friday. What is the date? The 16th, 17th, 16th. Um, we do this Monday through Friday. Over the weekend, though, I'm going to do a special spidaco sub category of knives i've <laughs> let's let's do something let's see if i can move this off yeah you know what those are those are spidaco flippers my small subgroup are all of the spidaco flippers that have been created and distributed since spidaco got into the flipper game one of the late joiners of the flippers obviously because their whole brand was holes so either saturday or sunday haven't decided yet i'll come out with a special on all of the spidaco flippers up to date as of today you guys have a perfect day take good care of yourselves okay really um keep those pockets full goodbye